Hey everybody, welcome back to the Castos YouTube page. Today we're taking a look at our deeper integration with a membership website called Member Space. And this is a great way to create your own membership site and a great way to have a private podcast connected, well, to your membership site, to your training, to your digital downloads, to your courses, to whatever you want through Member Space. You can connect that member into your private podcast. So look, if you want to sell a membership course, and by the way, it comes with a private podcast of extra content, this is a fantastic solution. Member Space plus Castos makes a great way to set up private podcasting. Let me paint the broad brushstrokes for this video before we move uh, forward. I'm showing you in the context of WordPress. So I'm gonna show you some frameworks of setting this up on a WordPress site. It's our most popular CMS that we uh, engage with here at Castos. And I'm gonna show you how to set some of uh, the pages up. There's a lot that can go into a membership site. We're only gonna to touch on the surface of connecting uh, Castos with MemberSpace, but MemberSpace has a great support uh, section on how to set up your membership site with WordPress. You can dive into that. We have docs on setting, support docs setting it up on Castos, uh, that initial connection. Let's just show you what I have here. I have a basic WordPress site and effectively, I've already protected a couple pages using member space. I'll show you that in a second. So the dashboard, uh, when I click on that, uh, it's not going to let me in. I have to log in to, to do that. Member content is another one. So when I click on member content, which is also protected, it says, no, you need to log in with your member space account. And then the sign up button will then allow me to sign up and create the member space account. And it's also going to make that automatic connection to my private podcast, effectively saying whoever signs up for this membership, this course, or whatever you're, you're, you're selling or promoting on member space, hey, we're going to send this to our private Castos feed to create a private podcast listener. I already have a private podcast set up on the Castos side. Let's just take a look at that real quick. We'll hit settings, distribution. And you can see here, podcast is private, and I don't have any subscribers down here yet. Um, we'll be doing some testing so you can see that populate, but effectively what, I'll, what you'll see is when I sign up for my member space account, it's gonna put this person uh, right into my private podcast. In effect, they'll get an email from Castos that says, here's your private podcast link, use this to subscribe in any podcast player on your device. So let's just show you uh, really quick the member space setup. So member pages, again, these are the two pages that I demonstrated in WordPress. They're both protected here. They're both set up to this free forever plan, uh, which I created. We'll take a look at those member plans right here. It's public, it's free, there's no payment. So maybe you don't want to charge for your private podcast. You just wanna have a free membership. You have uh, extra material, extra content, bonus episodes. Uh, maybe you do a lot with interview shows and you say, hey, if you're on the email list, if you're on the membership plan, you'll get extra content from this interview only on the private feed. This is a great way to build an audience. Not as only is it a great way to monetize your podcast, but it's a great way to just build an audience, build an email list, which really helps uh, the growth of your podcast. Okay, and then in member space, you can look and see uh, who is a member uh, of your member space account. Back to WordPress. We'll go into the dashboard and I'll just quickly show you uh, how I have that menu item set up. So if we go into menus, you can see I added the dashboard menu here or dashboard page to the menu here. I added that menu, that member content to the dashboard. But the more unique one is that sign up link. And this is this member space specific sign up link that when somebody clicks this in the menu, it prompts them to sign up for an account. You can grab that in your member space pages, or excuse me, plan section, and get the sign up link. You click on that and you can copy and paste this link uh, into your WordPress navigation like I did. You could put it on a WordPress page, uh, reuse it in WordPress blog posts, anywhere you wanna prompt somebody to say, hey, sign up for my membership, you can paste that uh, right in there. And that'll make that uh, menu appear or that modal appear. So when you hit visit site, click sign up, boom, there's the sign up to get onto my member space membership, okay? The most crucial thing that you will need is your Castos API key. So if we go into your Castos account, click on integrations, 
click on REST API. And this API token is what you want to copy and paste into your member space integrations page. So if we go back to our member space dashboard, click on customize, click on integrations, click on Castos. We then paste in the API token right here. And this is what will make the connection to our private podcast. We'll say, which plan do they have to be on? Like which plan will activate this automatic connection? And you can see here I have free forever. And which um, private podcast do we want to connect them to? You could have many podcasts. You could have many private podcasts. But in this case, we're going to say just this one, Matt's second private podcast. I've done this a few times now. <laughs> and we'll hit update. And that makes that connection. So we've got the framework of our site built. You know, we've got our protected page on WordPress. This is our private content on WordPress. Here's our quick sign up link uh, to create a member space account. We have the member plans already set up. So we have our free plan. Maybe you have some paid plans. And then lastly, we've made that uh, API token connection under customize integrations and then Castos. Once all of those connections are made, your WordPress site is effectively ready to start signing members up and then passing them on to our private podcast on Castos. Let's take a look at what that looks like. So we have our sign up page here. We'll say Matt. Okay. We're creating the account. Just like that, it's as easy as that with member space. It does its thing. I'm going to say never and not now. It says, thanks for joining. Uh, and it redirects me to this thank you page that I made, which those are settings you can set up in member space. So now I'm signed up. You can see that I'm logged in with the member space um, a little widget in the bottom right hand corner. Whenever you're logged in or wherever you're on the site, you can always access uh, the member space portal. It says free forever. I can access the content. And when we go to member space, You'll see that's the sign up that I just made. And then lastly, when we go to Castos, let's go to podcasts, settings, distribution. And there I am right there at the bottom. That's the sign up that I just made. And now I am connected to my private podcast. I received an email with the private link and I'm ready to go. I can now get that private podcast because I became a member of this member space site. Fairly easy. <laughs> I mean, the transaction is very easy. Once everything is set up, once the framework is set up, all you do is sign up to a plan and that plan then passes that to Castos. What happens if we want to remove this user? Let's say that, you know, we're, we don't want them anymore. We're going to cancel their plan. They cancel their plan. They don't want to be a member anymore. They unsubscribe. When we hit cancel, it'll prompt us, do we really want to remove Matt? We do. So now Matt is no longer on a plan. We'll go back to Castos and when we refresh this page, distribution, uh, Matt has been revoked. And you can see here, I can re-add Matt manually. Maybe I'll give them the private podcast. Uh, maybe they're not paying anymore, but hey, it's okay. Keep the private podcast. I can uh, re-give, I can grant them access again. I was re-grant them access. I was going to grant them access again by clicking this button. That'll give them access once again, and I can copy and send them uh, their private link right through this little copy paste feature. So they sign up, they automatically get added, they cancel, they automatically get removed. So this gives us both ends of uh, the customer journey there. They become a, a customer to our membership site, they leave and we remove that content access. And of course, they would lose access to the rest of our WordPress site. All of those pages that we protected, they'd also lose that too. You can learn more about setting up a membership site on MemberSpace's uh, website. Check them out. Again, plenty of docs, plenty of help on setting it up with WordPress. It's a great solution if maybe you're not even using WordPress. You don't necessarily have to do it this way. You could be using another CMS. Uh, the great benefit here is somebody signs up, boom, we can give them a private podcast link. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any other questions, drop them in the comments below. We'll be sure to help you out. Check out Castos, if you're looking to host a podcast, especially if you're trying to host a private podcast and you're making those connections with membership plugins, uh, check out MemberSpace. Of course, we thank them for all their help with this integration. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up.
if you like the video. And don't forget, we have the best podcast for podcasters. You can get it at castos.com slash subscribe. Join the podcast listenership fund. Join the email list. It's all there. We'll see you in the next video.